Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Going Medieval. I think we're on episode 6 today? I'm not sure what episode we're on. Um, I think last episode was 5, so pretty sure it's 6, but could be wrong. Um, now what we were working on were we were getting the um, library all built. Uh, at least the first floor. And then when we get to the second floor we'll be able to... Um, a whole bunch more stone bricks I guess or limestone bricks but um, and then the other thing that we were working on was the uh, gardens over here which should be needed or just around the corner um, springs literally just around the corner here so let's see if we can't get some of this operational and probably gonna want to put some of these here like that Something like that, I guess. I think that's about equal. And we're going to need a bridge or something over that direction so they can get in. But problem for another moment, at least. But, uh, yeah, right now what we got set up is herbs and cabbage. And then when they get this part filled in, we'll be able to plant um, the seed cabbage as well. So, And that's uh, springs tomorrow, by the looks of it. So... We'll have to get that all sorted out, but um, shouldn't take too, too long. And uh, I want to bring it kind of like around here in this area. And we'll have to be careful around the bridge area because I don't want to like flood that entire area in. That would kind of be bad, but <laughs> oh, we can work around it. We can do like another spot here and... Maybe another one behind there, right around here somewhere. I'm not sure what we have left. We have the um, shrubs, the um, berry bushes, flax, herbs we actually got set up. We just need to finish the um, mining there. Actually, let's go ahead and tell them to not worry about this at the moment. And we'll get them to mine that part out. Because that's more of a demand, actually, right? So, uh, what else do we need to do? Yeah, we, we need the roof on here, obviously. I don't know what they're working on at the moment. It looks like they might be working on the paths. Whoever's building. Getting ready for construction. Yeah, they're working on the paths at the moment, which is fine. It needs to be done. I did put some... Um, things around here for stockpiles so they can easily
great. So we got some options for unlocking things. We can unlock um, axes, maces, crossbows. Uh, we got uh, some other things as well. We got um, wooden weaponry, which is another option. Though it's not as good as metal ones. And we can unlock steel, which means we can start manufacturing steel items with clay, or not clay, coal and iron. Um, which is way better than iron tools or weapons, pardon me. Now we have ice making, preserving, shields, and I think that's about it. There's uh, research too, but we have all the research tables, so I'm not really worried about unlocking those. At least not right now, unless there's like a raid that gets into our settlement and gets to the library. But uh, defensive structures, we get the, the reinforced doors, but... The way that we manage our um, systems, I don't really see the purpose of actually doing that unless we need to, but I don't know. We could do that, I guess. Um, there isn't like the um, traps and stuff, they don't do that much damage. Actually, they do a really poor amount of damage, so I don't really see, like, unless outside of the door, I don't really see any purpose of actually investing in that but um then we got we can make mirrors a uh, wall mirror which i think is for decoration as well um yeah i think i'm gonna go with steel actually and then that way we what we can do is we can start mer um, making uh, some steel items and prepping all that. Now, I'm not sure where I have the forges. Put them somewhere. I'm not sure where they are. Over here, maybe? I think they were over here at one point. Have to find them. I don't know where they are at the moment, but, um, I'll locate them. Oh, yeah, that's right. I put them over here. I built that little facility thing. Alright, and I don't think I have any of this. I do have it set up, but... Huh. Okay, so we'll go with steel. We'll produce uh, 50 steel. I think that I don't know if that's 50 steel or no. It requires 50 items, so we'll get like maybe. Oh, we get 30 steel back. Okay, produces 100 ash as well. That'll be good for late game as well, as, uh, because it's used in dyes and stuff like that. Um smithing zero so it's pretty pretty simple uh another thing that we might want
definitely goes a lot quicker when you have a whole bunch of people gardening, that's for sure. <laughs> it's almost needed when we have this size of garden, though. Like, um, for the, the plants and stuff. I'm not sure if... Where is North End? North End's going to get seeds of some sort. So, I think... Yeah, what he's probably going to be um, end up doing is uh, continue planting this. Uh, during the uh, night, I've been just putting in the, um, what do you call it, the um, seeds underground. And then I have a few spots here that I can just easily fill up that are covered and aren't affected by weather. Or um, the only thing is really temperature, so... Um, that's basically what I've been doing is I've just been bringing the seeds up there and then it's a little bit more direct and basically same idea as what we were doing here and they're already done that so we can move that stuff back down. Let's see here if I can select it. Oh, there we go. Alright, so we just move that to low and then everything gets hauled back to the, um, stockpile. So, our... Barley's good. I started telling them to um, mine out this area, and what we're going to be putting here is the barley instead, which is about, I'd say a little bit bigger, maybe maybe the same size. Not sure how big it is, but it should do us just fine. Uh, we'll have other vegetables and stuff that we can sell as well, uh, which will be great. Herbs will be a good cra cash crop as well, and yeah, he's he's going to be doing that, so... Hopefully the dogs can deliver that quickly. There we go. And uh, he can just quickly go over there for it instead. Alright. Um, outside of that, I got them to plant the berries. We'll see if we can't get them to start working on the beetroots as well. I'm going to actually tell them to grow twice as many seeds this year. Just because we're running a little bit low on stock and it might be spoiling soon, so it'll be good to uh, get some of these things all set up. So do that, and then once we get um, enough of these things sent out, we can delete that herb one now. Uh, flax, we still need to do. Um, tell them to garden that as well. And those can be secondary. I'm not too worried about those. Main main concern is the uh, herbs. And if I can get them to actually just harvest. Alright, so our library is doing pretty good. It's mostly complete, um, which is really surprising since we had a lot of gardening to do um, 
like recently because we had to I basically set everyone to basically garden and we got uh, all the cabbage planted that's doing good um, north is still working on the herbs a little bit and it's coming and going but you know it is gonna take some time to do that because there's just one person with that particular skill level to plant those so uh, we don't really have too many people to do that but we can uh, dedicate tasks for harvesting and stuff now that we're growing a lot more product I think we can actually afford to um, have other people harvest things as well so that will take a lot of the load off of just a couple farmers and stuff so um got the flax planted i got the seeds for the carrots and beetroots planted and uh what else did we get done we got some paths done as well so there's all this stuff that they worked on over here um i told them to not worry about the wall uh pretty much just so it doesn't like take too much time up and we're gonna need to mine out this area i think because there's um some resources and stuff under here that we'll have to mine out but uh, we can do that before we um, finish that up I guess and there's some more iron and stuff over here so we'll have to mine that out as well in time in time um, but yeah it's it's coming it's uh, starting to look really good um, really impressed with how it actually looks and stuff like that eventually what I want to do is find a location for the churches I'm not sure what I want to do with them just yet. I might um, take the plots that they're on, get rid of the cemetery instead, and actually build bigger and better churches. Um, as our population grows, obviously we might want to start considering to actually grow the church a little bit more too. Um, at the moment, it can hold a few people, which is just good but um i wouldn't mind actually getting a couple more um stations and stuff like that just so we have more room and um more places to do it and everything like that but another project for another day um again we let's get work on the library and then we can start working on some other projects but um like unlocking things and stuff like that too but Outside of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I thank you for watching. See you guys next time. Peace out.